Hello and welcome to Live Art Mini. Um, hopefully, if someone can give me a thumbs up, let us know that we're actually live. I think that I did it right this time. So, um, happy Tuesday. I have um, Mark Yusin here with me. Mark, do you want to say hi? It's on me. <laughs> it's on you. You're on camera. We're doing our video right now. Say hi. 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 Did you? Is there anyone else that you want to say hello to today, Mark? Or to Vicky. To Vicky. Mark says a big hello to Vicky. Uh, me. Excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> we are being very, very silly in the studio today. I think we've laughed more today than we've laughed in a long time. So um, it looks like we got David Campbell, another artist here in the studio, who's watching us. Hello, David. Hope you're doing Thank well you. today. Um, Again, I'm gonna try to look at my comments and like some things on my phone while I'm doing this. Um, Steven is on vacation today, so again, you're stuck with me. I hope that I have all of the sound and everything else working correctly. We'll see if I can make it to the end of the video before um, I mess anything else up. So, um, like I said, I got Mark here with me today. We're gonna to be actually talking about Christmas ornaments. I know it seems a little bit crazy that we're already talking Christmas, but um, we'll talk a little bit more about it, but Mark's got an awesome custom order um, that he's been diligently working on and he's going to show you some of those things that he's been doing. So, um, first of all, we're going to kind of carry on with Steven's trend that he started with some of the artists and we're going to talk about some three different facts about Mark that maybe everybody doesn't know. Mark, do you want to share one of those with everybody? What was that first one that we talked about? Oh Where do you gosh. work? Big Donalds. Okay, Mark works Fair at law. on Millville. Yeah. Mark works at McDonald's. Um, in addition to working here at Inside Out on Saturdays, right, Mark? Yes. You're on Saturdays, and right now he said that the dining room's still closed there at McDonald's, but he's still working. Um, he does a lot of things. What do you do there, Mark? Boxes, boxes. Okay, you break down boxes, and where yeah. do you put those? Recycling. Into the recycling bin. So that's one of your big responsibilities there on the Saturdays to do it. Well, that's awesome. Um, what's another fun fact about you? Where do you go on Wednesdays? I need to thrive. Do, uh, to abilities to thrive, and you go, where do you eat lunch at? Joyce Park. At Joyce Park. So Mark says that in the summertime, he um, is with a group called Abilities to Thrive. Um, and they go have lunch in, at Joyce Park each Wednesday, which he loves to do. Um, and you said you also, where else do you go with Abilities to Thrive? Joyce Park. Okay, and then do you, do you work out too? Thursdays at the gym. Thursdays at the gym. So then not, they get, not Wednesday. Not Wednesdays. Okay, Wednesdays at Joyce Park, oh. and then Thursdays to the gym. And Mark, you were telling me <laughs> earlier, what's one of the machines that you use there to help with your knee? The new step. The new step. That's his. He said he does it usually for 20 minutes at a time. So he's doing much better at working out than I have been lately. <laughs> and I heard David. David's in the in the studio today too, and he was talking about some of his working out too. So we'll talk to him about that later. But you shared one other fun fact. What does your dad do? He's a pastor. He's a pastor. So that's another fun fact about Mark. His dad is a pastor. So, um, all right. Let's see. Like I said, we're going to be looking at um, some Christmas ornaments that Mark has been working on. <clears throat> um, but before we get started on that, I did want to give a thank you to um, Biss and Krupp Bilstein. So they're an organization here in Hamilton, um, and they graciously just donated to Inside Out Studio. So I wanted to take an opportunity to say thank you to them. We very much appreciate the support. Um, and again, why we're thanking people, um, just a little bit of a shout out to Symmetry Boutique and Gallery. They are our live art mini sponsor for the remainder of 2020. So thank you, Sherry Armstead and everyone at Symmetry. We are so very appreciative of everything that you do for us. Um, and on that note, let me fade over to this other camera. So this is um, what Mark's working on today. Um, he has a custom order. So he has some friends that came in. Who was the, who made this order? Do you remember who made this order? Who ordered these ornaments, Mark? Biggie, Biggie Order. 
Betty Loader? Yeah. Okay, so his friend Betty came in and she requested to have some custom ornaments made. <clears throat> so they worked together and came up with a design. Um, as you can see, it's a, a cardinal in the heart shape. Let me kind of put this one over. This is a finished one that Mark has already done. I'll put that in front. So you can kind of see the heart shape with the red cardinal. And Mark, how many of these are you working on? 20. 20, so he's got 20 of these to make, um, which is why we're getting started on them in September so that we can get them all finished up by the end of December in time for Christmas. So um, right now, Mark's got the base of most of his cardinals um, in the tree branch on the heart shape, but he's gonna show us how he's putting, um, looks like you're finishing, which let me move the camera just slightly. You finishing up the tail on that one cardinal? And then what are your what are you gonna work on next on these? You've got some clear glass pieces over there, Mark. Okay, you, so you go ahead and do it and the camera will just it'll record you doing it. Okay? Oh. Placing those tails on that one. And then I think Terry, you've already got some clear chip glass for him, correct? Yeah. Too? Okay. Terry loves being on camera as much as I do, so. <laughs> David finds Terry entertaining today a lot. He's had the giggles most of the day. And it makes me smile too, David, I love it. All right, so you're attaching one of the wings there, aren't you, Mark? And so I think Steven's talked about this in the past, but when they're doing um, these ornaments, and Liz is gonna educate us on this because <coughs> she's uh, the one that has lots of knowledge about glass work, but he's using a, a mixture of Elmer's glue and water. Terry, is that like a 50-50 mix? Is that what you guys do? Uh, pretty much. Pretty much. Sorry guys, I'm not the, <coughs> the art person here. So, Mark, do you wanna get started on putting your clear pieces of glass down? Okay. So Mark's gonna continue. He's gonna be taking his glue mixture and he's putting it down around the outside of these cardinals that he's already placed together. And then he's got some clear glass chips that are going on. And again, I'm gonna stick this one in front. You can see those clear glass pieces that, I don't know if the camera's gonna focus well enough for you guys to see or not, but the clear that's around the outside here, those are the pieces that he's laying down right now. Oh, Steven just said that he's watching. He and Kobe, his little guy Kobe. Does everyone want to say hi to Steven? Hi, Kobe! <laughs> <You're... laughs> <laughs> Steven, you're missing a crazy day in the studio. I think everybody's a... Uh... Seven, 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 seven. Kevin, shut up. See, Steven's watching on, on at home on his on Facebook right now. He's watching this video of us. So he's not here, but he can see what we're saying and what we're doing. Everyone, everyone, Kevin. 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 Okay, do you want to keep putting those glass pieces down, Mark? I say Kevin. With Kobe. So just while, while Mark's finishing with some of those glass pieces to let you know, like I had mentioned, this is a custom order. So um, Steven and team here work with the artists when people have ideas on things that they want completed, then they come in and they create a design. So um, as Mark mentioned, this is for his friend Betty and she had some previous pieces that she bought that had a red bird in it and they saw some other pieces here in the studio and they kind of came up with this unique design. Um, and then Mark is recreating, like he said, 20 of them um, that'll be custom made just for, for Betty and her family um, that will be going out this year. So if you're interested at all in ever doing any kind of custom orders, we can always do that. Um, you guys can just give us a call or shoot <coughs> us an email. Um, and when I'm done with this, I'll make sure that I drop all of our information in the comments on this video. I, I can't run the tech equipment and make the comments because I'm just not that good. So <laughs> I just don't have that much talent, do I, David? All right. Are you continuing to glue there, Mark? Steven says you're doing a great job. He just made a comment. Well, Mike's going to continue on that. I'm going to show off one of his other pieces that he's done. And 
Um, we're gonna actually go to a commercial here shortly and then Liz is going to talk about this, but this is one of the oh, um, penguin ornaments that Mark already created for this year that I'm working diligently to try to get into the inventory. So um, so for right now, let me cut to the commercial from Sherry. Again, we're, we're super grateful for what she does for us. Hopefully I do this correctly and don't lose sound like I did the one time that I did it. So whoopsie. I know, whoopsie, that was me. Hi, it's Sherry from Symmetry Boutique and Gallery. Liz, you're gonna be up, okay? Maybe. Um, possibly. I think it can get her. Maybe. Just you have to wrap it up pretty soon, I guess. All I gotta do is that, and we're gonna be carried for that, which is the lighter stuff. <laughs> What do you need the lighter? I I think that we have our sound <clears throat> back. Hey, Stephen, if you're watching, make sure we have our sound back. You're in trouble. <laughs> I believe we do. It looks like we're good to go. So um, here we have Liz back with us. Liz, I think you've been on one of our live art minis before. Is that correct? Yeah, I just can't remember what it was about. I, can't, I think you might have been working on a piece, actually, that we can talk about really quickly. Um, uh, I think that was the... Uh, Big glass piece right there. Yeah, the large glass piece that I think it was for the folded donors. I can't remember. But I yeah, know. I was uh, cutting. It was my first big time doing a mosaic glass piece. You know, with the layers. I've never done that before. And uh, of course, I've never done that with a scale that big. And and I was excited to do something that big. <laughs> yeah. So, so what, what Liz is referring to, she, Sherry Armstead, who we just got done watching on our, our commercial here quickly, um, she is our sponsor for Live Art Mini, and she ordered a custom piece, the largest glass custom piece that we've done here. Um, and Liz completely took ownership over that. Um, like she said, she cut her own glass and got it all ready, and I think it's actually complete, and Steven's just trying to find a time to get installed and to do it. So that was a pretty cool project yeah. that you worked on. Yeah. I also cut myself twice right in the first time. <laughs> the first two cuts I ever got in the studio. <laughs> That's not good. Well, you finished strongly. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. How long did it take you to finish that piece? Do you I remember? Think it was like a four or five weeks or something like that. Okay. And then you hear, I can't even remember, Liz, you're, you're coming about one day a week, something like that. Yeah, now I am. Okay, yeah. because of the, the COVID stuff. I just couldn't remember. So. About once a week for four or five weeks. Well, you you got a lot done in that amount of time. Yeah, so. I did. Yeah. All right. Well, Liz is working on some ornaments today as well. So. And unfortunately, I'm done cutting the pieces. So. <laughs> well, you can just talk. And yeah, me, but I mean. Uh, I'm gonna move this camera. Basically, I just cut it with. Um, yeah. I think this uh, is what, uh, uh, This is the runner. I don't know. I just call this the runner. <laughs> but uh, I cut. Basically, I cut. Draw it out the shapes if I want with this. And then I cut this out with this, okay. whatever I want. And then I use this, which I call the uh, clippers. Mm -hmm. Or I can use this to cut out with the, with the chippers, which is actually the correct name for this. Yeah. Liz and I were joking earlier uh, today because I don't know the names of any of these. Yeah, not me, you. Yeah. Not me, you. Yeah. So I make up names for So it. she said she was going to make them up, and I said, you know what, Liz, you could probably make them up, and that'd be okay because I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I just make up names. I don't know a name for that, which is the circle thing, so I just call it the circle thing. Um, <laughs> Liz, will you hold up the um, the print off that has the different yeah. ornament options? Basically, I 
this. Um, I just did uh, these three here. Okay, um, so this is a print off. I think Steven probably printed this off, and they kind of use this to look at for designing these different ornaments. This is one of the, the ornament styles we're doing for Christmas this year. They're all kind of circle shapes. And so Liz chose, what do you say, the reindeer? The reindeer, the snowman, and the penguin. I started these three off because um, I'm kind of coming up with the three designs which are very similar to these, but I want to start off with these on how to do it real quick. Okay. Yeah, and then um, I still have to come up with designs, but the three designs I'm going to come up with have frozen characters with them. Okay, so those are some unique ones that you're going to do when you get yeah, these completed? But, yeah, of course my snowman is not going to be in this shape. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want Olaf to look different. <laughs> okay, okay. But Elsa and Anna are going to look pretty much the same. Of course, Elsa's uh, dress is probably going to have a... Uh, Elsa's clothing is going to look similar to this. Okay. Just down here, but uh, basically the main clothing is going to have like an opal color like this. Okay. Kind of the same color as this, but similar. So Liz, I know you said you got your pieces cut out, but when you first start to do this, what, you start with a, just a circle piece of glass, yeah, is that correct? Yeah, circle, main color, you know, like uh, for example, the snowman is a, uh, snowman and penguin start out with like light <coughs> Okay. The reindeer, I start out with the brown color. Um, so yeah, um, if I start out, like for example, with Elsa or Anna, I'll probably start out with a peach-like color. Or like, like a like a skin color? Yeah, okay. much, a close to skin color. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, I've also done my own custom, my own personal, uh, a very unique design for, if anybody's actually bought ornaments from here, you probably saw them last year, which is a, which is a brand new type of design. They were quite popular, which is the Harry Potter Christmas <coughs> ornaments. Which I did unique, which is the we, we don't have any Harry Potter fans here, do we? Yeah, <laughs> you probably saw them last year because they were quite a big hit and I had to make some more. Uh, but I made two sets this year, which okay. is the Harry Potter houses, you know, Hulk, you know, uh, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. I did Terry, them all. Terry, what's your house? Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff, Mine's okay. Gryffindor. But I decided to make them up last year and they were quite a, quite a hit and I, I had to make some more. <laughs> and I made two sets this year, so Very that cool. was unique. Okay. And Are quite, those being fired now? I don't know if I've seen those. I, I have no idea. Oh, okay. Um, but, I made, but I finished them last week. So. Okay. They probably will. If they're not yet, they will be. So yeah, if you guys saw them last year, that, those are mine. And uh, they, they were quite my unique signature. And cool. Them up, so, yeah. That's awesome. Terry, you, you got what, do you have one on your... Christmas tree at home? No. no. You mean? I never got a chance I, to buy one. I might not. I might know what I'm getting to for Christmas this year. <laughs> Unfortunately, they were all bought out. The working ones were all no, bought out, I so I couldn't buy them. <laughs> Well, you, so, so we, yeah, they were that big of a hit. The only ones that were left were the Slytherin. I'm not a Slytherin. So. There you go. Well, that's pretty cool. Though, so. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, Liz, so um, before, because we've got David here, we're going to chat with a little bit too. Um, so we have all these, you know, those six designs that are on there, but what's one way that you guys can all make those unique and your own? I guess you could kind of like, a, for example, if you ever saw one of the old-fashioned Play-Doh Christmas Tails. I'm sure you could probably, like, for example, if you had this snowman, I thought about it, but I, <coughs> now that I'm looking at it, I don't have enough room for it. You could probably put like a pipe or whatever, make a little pipe for the snowman. Okay. I thought about it, but now I don't, now that I look at it, I don't have enough room. Don't for have enough room. <laughs> yeah. But then also, like, I'm tr I'm looking at your penguin that's there, and you've chosen uh, like a greenish color, yeah, a greenish opal swirl for it, just to make it look unique. Okay. So you guys kind of get to pick and choose what colors you want to yeah. use on each one of yours to make them unique. Yeah. I asked I asked Terry today uh, what kind of colors it's supposed to be because it's black because it's gray. <laughs> it's a gray scale, so she says whatever you want. I bet Stephen did that on purpose, so you guys would get creative. But, yeah. <laughs> but I imagine the Santa has to be the same, uh, the same red. Because that's Santa. <laughs> yeah, both Santas are red, but I guess you could make it whatever you wanted. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Yep. You can make it Krampus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. look at Krampus. <laughs> well, thank you, Liz. We appreciate it. We're going to pop over here. And let, don't mind me moving the camera. I'm making you guys motion sick here. We're trying to stay spread out back here. So we've got David here. David, the camera is on your workspace now. What, do you, what are the ones that you already did this morning? Do you want to tell people? Uh, yes. Okay. And that's going to be, what's that going to be? Light. It's going to be a night light. A ring dish. A ring dish. 
And what, what's on your ring dishes there? Cookie. A turkey. <clears throat> and then you've got some just leaves on your nightlight, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then what are you working on? You're doing a Christmas ornament right now. Mm-hmm. What? Which one are you making? Yeah, bear. Polar bear. Polar bear? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Right here. So, oh, I got to get over here. I'm gonna... So just to show on here again, he's working on this polar bear one. And Terry has been the awesome lady she is and has all his pieces cut. So he is... What are you, you're kind of putting them together like a puzzle piece, aren't you? Mm-hmm. All right. And guys, I haven't been able to watch all of you that are, are tuning in and watching, but I see our friends Taylor from over at CDA is watching, and Mo's watching as well. No! <laughs> all right, so what color hat did you choose? Oh, you guys, you are all about the green today, you and Liz both. <laughs> your polar bear are hat. You, are you copying me? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that color. It shows up really well. Yeah. So you're getting the nose and eyes and ears, and now you're working on the mouth. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Or no? You, yeah. You're working on the, the little belly up. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to see around you. Oh, guys, Michelle's watching. She says, Hi, hey, everyone. Good work. Did anyone, I can't remember if any of you guys were dancers down with Michelle. Um... Um, I don't think anyone today was, but who was? I think Andrea might have. Maybe met. Andrea. Like this last around, but they didn't. Sadly, that seems like so long ago. Uh, okay. Hey Terry, I okay. have a question about the glass. Though I see that these little thin pieces for like the mouth. It, how do you? The guys, stringers. Yeah. So what are they? They're stringers. Um, I don't know. They're. Just it's just super thin glass. Is yeah. That, okay. okay. Yeah, and to bend it, you have to burn it with fire, a little lighter. Okay. So, I'm not allowed, which I don't, I'm not allowed to use, but anyway, I don't know how to work that type of <laughs> Liz, Liz just restricted herself from fire. <laughs> no, I just don't. My parents never taught me how to use that type of lighter. I tried to once, um, but I never could figure out how to get the darn thing to light. Well, I always, I always <laughs> joke with Steven and tell him that we'll be careful not to burn the place down. So let's keep with that uh, trend. <laughs> I'm say you do it on me because of that. <laughs> so okay, back to the. You said it's called stringer. Yeah, those are stringer. Okay, and it comes almost like like spaghetti noodles. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's what it reminds me of. And then you can cut it, but then to bend it, you need to... Yeah, to make it curve. Okay. Use the there are flatter ones, aren't there? There are flat, but you can't burn those. Oh, yeah. Kathleen's watching and says, hi, everyone. Hi, Kathleen. Let's see. David's working on... Just about got it all wrapped up. Putting the top on the hat there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then was Mark going to work on, oh, I think he's already actually been kind of mm -hmm. plugging away. Part of it, yeah. Okay. Well, he's still plugging away over there. Let me see if I can, I, I know I'm making you guys dizzy with my camera today. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I wanted to go back over to Mark. And Mark, can we slide your reindeer back in so everyone can see the reindeer that you're working on? The reindeer now, Mark? Let's shoot this thing. So we can see this piece that you're working on too. So Mark chose the reindeer and it looks like you've got pretty much everything glued. Do we have to have something, Terry, that kind of holds the antlers so they stay glued there? We can have um, another piece of just to kind of to hold it up, it up maybe? Yeah. yeah. Got to get that reindeer red nose in there for Rudolph, right? <laughs> Terry with the assist, what would we do without you? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> your, your hands are off here. That's it. <laughs> oh, Terry. Terry. <laughs> <laughs> you, David, you always got me giggling too. You're happy. You're happy. You're happy. I love it when you're so happy. Thank you. I'm actually gonna. So Mark's kind of finishing that. I'm gonna be moving this one camera over so we can talk to David quickly before we go. But Mark's getting finished up there. So one of the tricky parts about those antlers. Um, because they kind of sit off the glass, then you've got to put another glass piece under the edge. So that's what Mark's trying to situate there. Can be a little tricky, can it, Mark? Mm. But he's got it. He's got it. I know it's dangerous, guys. You guys get all of these pieces going and um, <laughs> I have to inventory all of them, and I'm like, ooh, I like this one, I like this one, I like this one. <laughs> and I end up with lots of purchases at home. <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, Mark's finishing up that, and I'm gonna come back over to this camera, and we're gonna finish. Wow, David, I've got us up close. Let me see if I can fade. All right. I'm here with David. We saw David working earlier, but I thought I'd finish and talk a little bit with David before we signed out. So, David, what, we talked about some of your favorite things that you like to work on here. What are some of those things that you like to work on? I draw people, I draw people swimming. Drawing people swimming. So yeah, I think that in one of our little videos we did, we talked about this too, but um, David's kind of known for his swimming people that he does. So. Um, he loves to draw, and you like to paint your swimming people too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. What else do you like to work on here? Drawing. Just drawing, drawing other things. Yes. Okay. You like to do glass. Mm -hmm. I know your turkeys are pretty cool. I'm excited to see your turkey ring dishes when you get done with those. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we talked earlier too that you love to go out to eat, right, David? Uh huh. Where's your favorite place to eat? Um. Taco Bell. Taco Bell? Mm -hmm. All right, you said somewhere else earlier too. Pizza Hut, do you remember? Because mm -hmm. what, what, what's your favorite kind of pizza? Mm. You say pepperoni. Bernie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> David's favorite pizza is pepperoni, and Terry uh, says, ew. <laughs> 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 so, what's what's Terry's favorite kind of pizza, David? Did she say? Do you remember? Sausage. Sausage. Yeah, I say. Mm, me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we just wanted to say, um, everyone, have a great week. Um, next week is um, Allison Davis, I believe, is next week. I have to think about that. And uh, Stephen will be back, so you guys don't have to deal with me next week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but Allison will be working on some paintings um, kind of inspired by the leaf impressions that they did last week. So uh, make sure you tune in. It'll be one o'clock next Tuesday. Um, and we'll go ahead and let me see if I can fade over to this other camera and kind of say bye from everybody in the studio. So we got Liz over in the corner. There's Matthew over there. There's Matthew. Can you say hi? Matthew. Bye. And Andrea and Denise is in the house today. <laughs> and then, oh, I'm ducking over my head. Keith, Where's, there's Keith. Hallelujah. There you, go. All right. you guys all have a great weekend, and we will see you next week. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> I love